Cooper and I am a part of the RTI team and I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, what RTI squared is and what will happen if your child is in RTI. So thank you for listening today. So here on the screen is a picture of our RTI squared staff. Um, we've got Miss White, Miss Hooper, Miss Patrick, and Miss Patrick is on maternity leave um, until after fall break, but she will be back after fall break. And then we have Miss Horn, and we are the interventionist. So if your child is in um, a tier, then they will come see one of us. So I want to tell you a little bit about what RTI squared is. So RTI squared stands for response to instruction and intervention. Um, we give a benchmark assessment called Easy CBM three times a year, once in August, once in December, and once in May. And from there, we take that data and put children into tiers. So if your child scores in the bottom 10th percentile on Easy CBM, they are considered tier three and and are likely to receive our services from the interventionist. If your, school, if your child scores in the 11th to the 25th percentile, then they are considered tier two, and they are also likely to receive our services. If your child scores in the 26th to the 99th percentile, then they are considered tier one, and they will not receive the services of the interventionist. They will stay in their um, general education classroom and receive um, further instruction or enrichment during that time. Um, we also want to let you know that we don't just look at easy CBM when making these decisions. We look at other forms of data um, like teacher input, running records, common formative assessments, things like that. So here are our goals for your children if they end up in um, a tier with us, with the interventionist. So for first grade for math, um, the end of the year goal is for them to get 14 problems correct out of 16 problems on our progress monitoring that we do. We progress monitor every two weeks um, using easy CBM. So for math, we are progress monitoring on numbers and operations and we our goal is for them to get 14 problems out of 16 problems problems correct. That's our end of the year goal. Um, our first grade reading goal, we progress monitor on letter sounds, phoneme segmentation, word reading fluency, and passage reading fluency. Um, for first grade, our major goal that we're working on is word reading fluency and passage reading fluency. And those end of the year goals are 31 words in a minute for word reading and 37 words in a minute for passage reading. So here are some ways that you can help your child at home um, for reading. Um, the interventionist will send home books for your child to read, practice reading at home. So if you would read those books three times with your child and then sign them, sign the book that you listen to them read it and return it to school, that's great practice for them. These are texts that they should be familiar with because we've read them several times in class together. You'll also work on having them read fluently, which means they're not having to stop and sound out the words. Um, we want them to sound like it's talking, they're talking when they're reading. And then if you'll also work on their sight words, these are words that they should have memorized so that they can easily recall it in a text and they're not having to think about it. Um, in math, it would be great if you could work on identifying numbers one through 20, and then also writing those numbers one through 20. You also pr practice counting to 120. And then um, we also would love if you'd work on counting objects with one-to-one -one correspondence. So if we give your child 16 objects, um, they should be able to count those one-to-one -one and then also be able to group them into a group of five or a group of 10 to make it easier to count. And then also work on more or less. So um, if you have five cookies and three cookies, which one is more, which one is greater, and then which one's less. So thank you so much for your time and for listening um, to just some information about RTI squared. If you have any questions, there are there's our phone number on the screen. And then if you go back to this slide with our pictures on it, our email addresses are there too. We look forward to working with your children this year. And thank you for your time.